Hi, and welcome to All About Sandcastles. My name is Mark Martindale, also known as Monkey. Now, where'd you get that name from? My niece was down at the beach one year, and she just, she kept calling me Uncle Mark. It just didn't come out quite right. And the other relatives said, hey, did she call you Monkey? You look like a monkey, you act like a monkey, you're kind of silly and goofy. So, everybody calls me Monkey now. Before you go to the beach, it's a really good idea to apply a very nice thick layer of sunblock. And if you have a protective SPF shirt like I have on here, that's another good idea. I also have them in long sleeve. If I'm going to be out there on a really long carve, I'll wear a long sleeve shirt. Uh, I like having a collar so I can put the collar on and protect my neck and I also have a big wide brim hat. That's really important because you don't want to get sunburned. Now, once you're all ready to go to the beach, what tools do you need to have? Well, you need to have a shovel. And it can be any kind of a shovel. It could be a kid, small kid shovel, big shovel, scoop shovel, just a shovel. Whatever you need. Whatever shovel you have, that's what you need. And then take a couple tools with you. Now these can be ordered uh, probably online. These are cake decorating knives. I like the wood handled ones. They're, they're harder to find now. Uh, and then also I like a brush to smooth out the, the sides of the castle. And I use a straw to blow away some of the details inside what I cut out. Now be sure you don't suck in on the straw though, then you'll have a mouthful of sand. Now I did find these at a local craft shop. For children, these would be ideal. because There's no way they're gonna get cut using these. Now these are not sharp, but they do have sharp edges. So I don't, I don't think I'd really be comfortable using these with children. So another couple other items I'll use uh, during these videos will be some trowels. These are actually cement trowels. These are great for like smoothing out large areas. Say you want to have a name on, on your castle and in the front, just smooth these out. Man, it's real easy to do then. And then if you're, as you're carving away sand, there's different sizes of trowels I use to, uh, depending on the size of the castle. So they have like a large one, medium one, small. And then I got this little pointy guy here. Oh. Glad it didn't land on my foot. <laughs> a pointy guy, you kind of get, you can go underneath stuff. It looks like it just separates it, it adds shadows and depth to your castle. That's really what makes your castle turn out is shadows and depth. So, I think we got a basic toolkit. As we, as we use forms and other things in our, our videos, I'll just explain what we're doing. But I think it's time to go build a sandcastle.